Dr. Kim is an internationally renowned leader in the field of lung stem cell biology. She is professor of genetics at Boston Children's Hospital. Her laboratory has pioneered the use of stem cell biology approaches for the study of adult lung progenitor cells in lung cancer. Her work has contributed to a better understanding of stem cell biology in the lung, development of innovative approaches for examining the cellular and molecular basis of cancer and pulmonary disease, and identification of new therapeutic avenues for lung cancer. The success that Dr. Kim's lab has had investigating the molecular pathways that regulate lung stem cells and the role of stem cells in lung cancer is a testament to her potential to make new strides in understanding lung disease and basic biology. Working with genetically engineered mouse models that accurately represent human lung cancer, Dr. Kim's group was the first to identify cancer stem cell populations in the two most frequent types of lung cancer in patients. Her lab's knowledge in lung stem cells has revealed a new combination therapy approach for particular subsets of lung cancer patients. Dr. Kim's lab has developed a 3D lung organoid system that makes it possible to derive specialized lung cells from lung stem cells. The organoid culture system developed by the Kim lab grows tiny replicas of lungs, allowing them to model the complex interactions of lung stem cells and their neighboring cells. Most recently, the Kim lab used the organoid cultures to define new types of mesenchymal cells that are required to support lung injury repair. This system can now be used to probe the role of lung stem cells and the diverse cell types with which they interact in lung cancer, in lung diseases such as cystic fibrosis and pulmonary fibrosis, and during lung development. These advances by the Kim lab provide a whole new way to study lung diseases in the laboratory dish and to find new therapeutic interventions. The impact of Dr. Kim's work has been acknowledged in many ways. From her publication in Cell Stem Cell winning Best Cancer Paper of 2010, to her receipt of the William Rippey Distinguished Award in Lung Cancer Research from the Lung Cancer Research Foundation, she has been widely acknowledged as one of the brightest researchers in lung stem cells. Dr. Kim is from Fremont, Ohio, and received her Bachelor of Science in Biology from Ohio Northern University. She received her PhD in Genetics from the University of Wisconsin-Madison in 2002 and performed postdoctoral research at the MIT Center for Cancer Research. She joined the stem cell program at Boston Children's Hospital and established her laboratory in September 2006. Mary Jane Elmore, also known as MJ, earned a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics from Purdue University in 1976, where she joined the Alpha Eta chapter of Alpha Z Delta. She then went on to earn an MBA from Stanford University in 1982. She was a member of the inaugural class of Stanford's Distinguished Career Institute in 2015. MJ has been a pioneer in the male-dominated world of Silicon Valley venture capital. She was one of the first female venture capital partners on the West Coast joining the firm of Institutional Venture Partners in Menlo Park, California in 1982. MJ helped build IVP into a firm that has created over 400 companies, more than 100 of which have gone public. She has invested broadly in all stages and areas of information technology companies throughout her career. She served as a general partner in eight IVP funds and on the board of directors of numerous private and public information technology companies. Prior to joining IVP, MJ was a marketing manager at Intel Corporation's Development Systems Division from 1977 through 1980. She was a part of a small team of professionals across all divisions of Intel that worked closely with the sales force to achieve market leadership of Intel microprocessors. Currently, MJ is a limited partner and advisor to the IVP funds and a private angel investor with the Broadway Angels, an angel investment group made up of world-class investors and business executives who all happen to be women. 
with women being only about 8% of venture capital partners and female entrepreneurs receiving only 2% of the startup capital, she has turned to funding new female-led venture firms and startup companies. She is a member of the Advisory Council of the Stanford Graduate School of Business and the Advisory Council of Stanford's Center on Longevity. She has also served on the Duke University Sanford School of Public Policy Board of Visitors, Director of the Western Association of Venture Capitalists, the Purdue University Mathematics Advisory Council, the Stanford Business School Trust, and the Board of Trustees of Sacred Heart Schools in Atherton, California. Being in the third trimester of life opens the possibilities of pivoting outside of traditional careers and allows the pursuit of passion careers. MJ has begun to pursue a new career in oil painting. Additionally, MJ is passionate about the issues our youth face and works with groups making a difference in the area of teen mental health and youth homelessness. She is a member of the Board of Directors of the Children's Health Council. The council offers evaluations, programs, and treatment for ADHD, learning differences, anxiety and depression and autism, serving families of the greater San Francisco Bay Area through clinical services, schools, and community education and outreach programs. Our final recipient of this year's Woman of Distinction Award is Kelly Earnhardt Miller. Considered one of the most prominent business people in NASCAR today, Kelly Earnhardt Miller is the backbone to JR Motorsports as she oversees the company's race team, management team, and business ventures for her brother, Dale Earnhardt Jr. She is the daughter of seven-time NASCAR champion, Dale Earnhardt. Coming to JR Motorsports in 2001 as general manager, the company has flourished under her leadership. With teams in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, the Cars Late Model Stock Car Tour, and NASCAR Well and All-American Series, JR Motorsports now boasts seven championships, including three NXS titles in the past five seasons and four in the late model ranks. Out of college, Kelly immediately landed a position at Action Performance, the souvenir sales company that became the benchmark in NASCAR merchandising. Her many roles during a six-year span there included Vice President of Sales and Vice President of Procurement. Kelly's move to JR Motorsports in 2001 was significant in the career of her racing brother, who had burst onto the NASCAR scene with Xfinity Series championships in 1998 and 1999. He then became one of the sport's most publicized figures when he surged into full-time NASCAR Cup Series competition in 2000. His immediate success on the track further catapulted his popularity, and that success called for savvy leadership that could maximize his immense appeal. Kelly Earnhardt Miller instantly began expanding her brother's business portfolio, landing corporate deals that would intensify his reach as both a racer and business person. In 2007, Kelly was the recipient of the Top 25 Women in Business Achievement Award by Charlotte Business Journal. In an Associated Press article in April 2007, Kelly was referred to as one of the most powerful people in the sport of NASCAR. In December 2009, she was listed as the third most powerful woman in NASCAR by ESPN.com columnist Ryan McGee. In February 2010, Kelly was named Opportunity Award winner by Lynn St. James Women in the Winner's Circle Foundation for her part in bringing Danica Patrick to NASCAR. With numerous teams vying for Patrick's attention, it was Kelly who lured Danica Patrick to JR Motorsports, giving the company one of the most recognized driver tandems in NASCAR with Earnhardt Jr. and Patrick. Her most recent accolade came in 2015, as she was named one of Sports Business Journal's Game Changers Women in Sports Business for her impact on the motorsports industry. Aside from duties as general manager at JR Motorsports and agent for her brother, Kelly is on the board of directors for the Dale Jr. Foundation. Since its inception, the foundation has raised more than $8.1 million and distributed that money to more than 75 different charities to help give underprivileged individuals with a focus on youth 
the resources to improve their confidence and education. Kelly also serves as chairwoman of the board and director of Blue Harbor Bank. She also sits on the board of directors for Brandt and Children's Hope Alliance. In 2019, she hosted Beyond Racing on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, partnered by co-host Danielle Trotta. In April 2020, Kelly became an author with the publication of Drive, Nine Lessons to Win in Business and in Life, co-written with Beth Clark. She is married to L.W. Miller and the mother to three kids, Carson, Kennedy, and Wyatt.